foreign ministers of the Gulf Cooperation Council member states have designated the group led by cleric and businessman Fatula Gulen a terrorist organization. Gulen is blamed by Turkey for orchestrating July's failed coup. The GCC ministers made the declaration in a show of support for the Turkish government. The announcement was made at a meeting in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia, attended by Turkey's foreign minister Mevlut Cavusoglu. The ministers also condemned attacks on Turkey by the PKK and other terrorist groups, saying that Turkey had a right to defend itself. Let's go to TRT World's correspondent Hassan Abdullah, who's in Ankara for us. And uh, Hassan, this is a, a big show of solidarity for Turkey. How did the GCC states reach this decision? Surely, first of all, the uh, Turkish officials here are describing this as a diplomatic success. Uh, Turkish diplomats have been engaged in some intense lobbying. They've been sharing evidence of uh, FETO activities, and uh, they've also been arguing that FETO is not just a threat to Turkey, but uh, it is engaged in subversive activities in other countries as well, and that if no action is taken against this uh, group, uh, uh, then it could pose a threat to other countries as well. So uh, Turkey's foreign minister Mevlut Cavusoglu also carried this argument forward and after deliberation um, there was a unanimous agreement uh, between all the GCC counterparts that were present there that uh, this organization should be declared a terrorist organization and it should be banned. Now the GCC uh, ministers also expressed support for the moves Turkey has taken post a coup attempt here in the country uh, against the FETO organization and they've said that uh, they're also going to draft strategies to deal with uh, with what they called pseudo-religious cults. Uh, they have uh, argued that there are a number of what they're calling cults operating in different uh, Muslim countries and they pose a threat to the safety and security of those countries. So they also discussed strategies and they said that uh, all the countries have to uh, act in unison and come up with uh, a strategy that would be effective against all such groups. And Hassan, ministers were also discussing Iraq. Uh, tell us about that. Absolutely. That was one of the issues. And uh, there was consensus um, within all the people who were present in that meeting, uh, the GCC ministers, that uh, Iraq is a contentious issue and that it is something, it is an issue not to be taken lightly. Uh, they argued that the fallout effect uh, from whatever happens in Iraq uh, would be critical and particularly for the neighboring countries including Turkey. They also argued uh, uh, and discussed uh, the situation in Iraq particularly pertaining to the government. Uh, they expressed dissatisfaction with the performance of the Iraqi government and one of the points they argued was that uh, and they expressed concern about it uh, was that uh, the Iraqi government according to them was uh, more interested in supporting some Shia militia groups uh, to counter Daesh as opposed to using Using the Iraqi army, they argued that this could be a very counterproductive move because this would ultimately promote sectarianism and it would uh, sort of polarize the already polarized Iraqi society even more. Uh, Turkish foreign minister said that Turkey has an important role to play. Uh, this is what he had to say.